Most Chinese can expect to live 76 years. The average retirement age for men is 60 and either 50 or 55 for women. Mei Fong is an author and award-winning journalist with over a decade reporting experience in Asia. She explains the effect longer life expectancies are having in China. So there's a terrific amount of desire, I think, to want to find a second career, do something interesting. In addition to that, of course, you know, there's this whole love of lifelong learning in China. So that, that sort of caters into it, too. Is there a trend of more Chinese putting off retirement to continue working because of that reason? And how has the longer lifespans really changed the way people look at the next few decades? Oh, I think definitely, yes. Um, I think the, the thinking on um, aging in China is, you know, partly determined by the retirement age, which is likely to go up, you know, very eventually, although that's a very painful political decision. But it's also uh, informed by the sense of the need to be stay healthy. You know, I think um, old people in China are one of the most health-minded ones. You see it all the time in the parks. Everybody's exercising and eating healthily. And this, I think, comes from a sense that um, they need to prepare for a self-sufficient, long old age into which they have a smaller family size to sustain them and also not a huge sa social safety net. How is China balancing its resources to continue to address the aging problem there? Well, um, that's a hard one because in terms of actual numbers, China will have the biggest aging population very soon, well over 300 million people by 2050. That's all of America <laughs> with a little bit extra maybe. So um, in terms of balancing resources, I think one of the things they are looking forward to going ahead is changing the retirement age. Um, and also, I think um, there's also, a, I think certain cities, for example, like Shanghai, is very um, advanced in terms of looking at senior services, things that they can cater to the public. Um, um, not all cities are like that, unfortunately. And also, I mean, this requires a conversation among the family. I mean, children of aging parents, how has that changed uh, their lives? Well, I think um, one of the big things that's happening now, I think, is, is the awareness that, um, you know, there there's a revival in the whole filial piety thing, which, you know, we know it's very big in China. And it's increasingly uh, talked about and discussed now, now that the family structure is so much more smaller and so many people work far away from home. There's a desire now to sort of rebuild that old structure, which in some sense isn't quite possible because you will not have the big families of uncles and aunties anymore, but there's certainly a desire to, to readdress that issue again. What are some of the challenges that remain um, in China? Well, I think the aging population is a huge one from an economic perspective, right? You know, China is economy is slowing, and now you have an issue with, um, you know, a smaller tax base to pay for the demands of a older retiree population. So that will be a big challenge. Um, China's uh, shrinking demographic will have to be much more productive with the fewer numbers of people they have. And at the same time, of course, everybody wants to live a happy, healthy life um, well onto our, our late stages. Mei Fong, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.